just said for a controversial speaker at UNM tonight. He's a right wing activist who's been called a sexist and racist. He draws a crowd and protests wherever he goes. Police are ready for chaos tonight at UNM. That's our News 13's Catherine Mazonis. That's right, Kim. Now I want to show you the student union building. It looks more like a fort with all the barricades around it. And there is a line of people who have already started to form here. They're getting ready to get in to see this guy. The bottom floor is now completely off limits for this event. Not only that, but surrounding buildings, even the library are shut down as well. State police, APD, BCSO, and UNM police arrived early to do security sweeps around campus. It's all for this man, Milo Yiannopoulos. He's controversial, an openly gay conservative who often draws crowds for and against his views. We shot this video earlier. Students spent hours preparing the ballroom where he's set to speak. The UNM college Republicans say there's room for 500 people. There could be a big crowd outside as well. Protesters have organized rallies on Facebook and they're already showing up to show what they have to say. We caught up with one group that organized the event after the security briefing. They say they feel safe and are optimistic about the event. They say they're waiting to see if the protesters show up and behave. I am excited to see what they have to say. Um, obviously, they do have the right to be out here um, speaking their mind. I just hope that everything stays calm and nothing gets violent. Again, that's the college Republicans. We also spoke to a few of those planning to protest. They tell us that they're looking to hold a peaceful demonstration as well, even though some are calling Milo a hate monger. If the university really cared about its students, they wouldn't allow such a person to give a speech here on campus. Milo is already on campus, we're told. Again, the sub is closed, as are surrounding buildings and the library. You have to have a ticket to get in. We just spoke with the folks with the college Republicans. They say security requires them to mandate tickets. So even though they said before you don't have to have one, they're now requiring a ticket for entry. Back to you, Kim. Okay, thanks, Catherine. Now we'll be at UNM all evening. We'll bring you an update at 530 to show you how the evening's unfolding.